He said that as a child, he was always questioning things when it came to the color of a person's skin, why people who were considered to be white got better treatment than others. Well, many years later, Keith Plessy discovered that his family did have a personal connection to some very important events in history. Hello, my name is Amy Nathan, and I'm the author of this book, Together. In this book, you're gonna meet Keith Plessy. So here's a picture of him when he was about seven years old. As a young student, he had absolutely no interest in learning history. In fact, he admits in the book that when history came up in class, he would draw pictures. Well, that was partly because he liked to draw and later he did go to art school. But it was also because he didn't feel there was any personal connection between his life and the events he was reading about in those history textbooks at his elementary school. Those books didn't help him find the answers to the questions that were troubling him as he was growing up in New Orleans in the early 1960s. For example, why couldn't he go into his own neighborhood park on Saturdays and Sundays? Well, that was because there was an unwritten rule in his neighborhood that only white kids could go into the park on weekends. Keith and the black kids in his neighborhood had to squeeze in their playing at the park on weekday afternoons after school before it got dark. He said that as a child, he was always questioning things when it came to the color of a person's skin, why people who were considered to be white got better treatment than others. Well, many years later, Keith Plessy discovered that his family did have a personal connection to some very important events in history. In fact, his ancestor had an important uh, connection to very important events in history, events that led to those unfair rules and laws that troubled him as he was growing up in New Orleans. And seeing that personal connection to the history totally changed his idea about history. He then wanted to learn more history. He wanted to learn about the era when people put an end to those unfair rules and laws. Now he says, I can't forget anything about history. It has become part of me. So we hope that when you read this book together, that it might help you see how the historical events it describes have a personal connection to your life and really to all of our lives. The book also tells about the personal journey of Phoebe Ferguson. Uh, she was also born in New Orleans the same year as Keith Bussey, but they never met as children. Um, but Phoebe was also troubled by examples of segregation that she met as a young white girl growing up in the South. And when uh, they did finally meet as, as adults, uh, she had learned that one of her ancestors had played a part in the important historical event that also involved Keith Plessy's ancestor. In fact, her ancestor had met Keith Plessy's ancestor in a New Orleans courtroom in 65 years before Keith and Phoebe were born. They had also learned by the time they met as adults that the laws and rules that caused trouble for Keith and his, his black friends in his neighborhood and that troubled Phoebe as she was growing up in New Orleans as well, they were not legal anymore. But they also realized that the attitudes that caused those rules still impacted the way people live today. And so they decided when they met as adults that they were gonna create a new organization called the Plessy and Ferguson Foundation to bring people together, not drive them apart. And our foundation has found a way to make it easier for people to learn history and think about ways to try to undo some of the damage of the past. So this book together tells the story of Keith and Phoebe, um, the history that links their families and the new foundation that they have created. It also tells about how other people have reacted to the history that links their families, and uh, including some teenagers who made a pay, play, wrote a play about uh, that history, and artists who have made artwork about it, including the art that's included on the front cover of this book. So we hope you enjoy reading the book, 
and that it can help you find a, a way, your way, like Keith and Phoebe, to trying to make the world a place where all are accepted and treated fairly. So thank you for listening and I hope you enjoy reading this book. Bye.